Hello YouTube, Rick Farah here at Briarville. The restore and uh, restoration and the uh, repair service of Joe Case Pipes. Uh, this is my first YouTube, guys, so go easy on me. I'm going to uh, give you a, a brief uh, tour of the uh, shop here since we have just uh, put it together. Uh, it's open for business, full blown right now, and want to let everybody know about it. Uh, so I guess we'll just start. Um, this is my, like I said, my first video, go easy on me. Okay, right here, obviously, is our uh, computer. <laughs> and this is the desk and where we pay the bills and, and do whatnot, uh, our emails and marketing and, and such. And actually, too, we also Skype. Uh, we'll Skype back and forth uh, between different carvers and friends on Skype while we're working, so it kind of makes it fun. So it also makes it easy uh, when uh, Joe's shop is on the west end, uh, west side of Nashville, we're on the east side of Nashville, we can collaborate on stuff and uh, just work together despite the, uh, uh, the time differences, and it, it makes it very nice. Moving over here, we've got the, uh, the, the drilling and sanding station. Um, this is a great little sand motor here. I'll use that to take off the uh, finish when we actually have to uh, take uh, a pipe down to wood uh, for, uh, for uh, refinishing it. Uh, works, works very nice. And in an upcoming video, uh, we'll be talking about your bits and what you can do at home. And the uh, uh, and I want to tell you guys about this product right here. It's called Micro Mesh. It's a wet and dry sanding pad. Uh, it won't get it as nice as the uh, the lathe, which I'll uh, which I'll show you that here in just a moment. But what that will do is it will make your bits. Uh, it will remove the oxidation from the bits, and I'm going to show you guys completely from start to finish how to how to get your bits looking nice again. And basically, uh, prolong the uh, time frame between visits to uh, to my bench. Uh, anyway, it's called Micro Mesh. Uh, you can Google it and look it up and pick you up some. So when we have that video, you'll be able to jump right into it uh, a little later and uh and get your bits uh, uh get your bits looking looking better and not as disgusting as as we all know they can get okay back wall just simple uh, same stuff just some miscellaneous stuff uh just different uh different uh, uh devices for the uh, chuck to uh to work on the wood uh, primarily for rusticating and, and whatnot oh a nice shot of my hand there thanks very much Okay, as we uh, move along, uh, let's have a look at the bench itself, the entire bench. Uh, as you can see, it contains the lathe and some storage supplies. And and what was that witch movie? You guys remember that? I mean, that's watching this thing is making me think about that witch movie. I mean, the thing's going all over crazy. Hope you're not uh, getting ill. But anyway, you can see the uh, different tools that are used in the process, and we'll start off with uh, one of our main tools that we use. A ah, good shot of my finger there. A uh, uh, is the uh, the lathe. The lathe right now is fitted with the uh, uh, the buffing mandrel. It's, we use a three wheel system, and that is the uh, core of our business. We'll start off with cleaning the pipe with a uh, 400 grit. Uh, uh, Tripoli, and it's uh, what this is. It's an iron oxide, and you can kind of see it as it uh, uh, comes off as it uh, uh, as the uh, wheel turns, heats up, it melts the wax substance and deposits the iron oxide into the uh, wheel, and it has a light, uh, a very nice light sanding uh, effect on uh, and it's very good for uh, cleaning uh, cleaning the grease and grime that comes off the pipe all the old carnuba and whatnot uh, that uh, just will get a, a pipe gunky uh, next is the uh, white diamond wheel white diamond uh, it comes in a uh, white block uh, although there's no diamond uh, powder in it it does have uh, aluminum oxide and the grit's about 1,200. Uh, 
And then finally, we've got the uh, the waxing wheel. Uh, we use Carnuba wax, which is the uh, hardest uh, uh, wax, I guess, available. And that's what gives it that uh, very nice, very uh, 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 hard shine on uh, on your pipes. And that's really the uh, the secret behind that. It uh, it looks they they come out as you know, looking very nice. So moving down the bench, we've got a. Uh, uh, Look at uh, a box of pipes here that's uh, come in for repairs, and what do we have? Got a uh, very nice pipe. This is a Costello. Beautiful uh, rustication on that. I love a Costello pipe. I just like Italian pipes. But the problem is, is he's a clencher, and God love him. Quit using those softy bits. I need the business. Anyway. Uh, this was an acrylic, you kind of bit through it, and so we'll put a new bit on it. And notice, too, this has a rhinestone, if you can see that, uh, a rhinestone inlay in, in there, the stem. We'll attempt to remove that and put it into his new pipe so it comes back looking as, uh, as new as, as possible. Or looking as original, I should say. All right, coming over here, we've got the uh, the Rikon sander. The, the, this Rikon is a combination sander and grinder that uh, uh, does our heavy work uh, primarily in uh, uh, fitting and or rather uh, cutting stems from scratch from acrylic blanks. Uh, we'll use the combination lathe and the sander to get it down there, and uh, and then we'll start taking it down. Uh, grit by grit till it comes out uh, shiny and, and looking like uh, you expect it to look. Coming down further, oh, we'll have a look at Slim here. Slim's our, uh, Slim's our shop mascot. He enjoys a cob, as you can tell. Good taste in pipes. I love a cob. And incidentally, guys, when you're uh, trying your tobaccos, a cob's the best thing to try them in uh, for some reason. And uh, so grab you an old cob somewhere. Big Star Cigar has got a bunch of them. Uh, they're pretty ubiquitous. You can find them. And when you're out trying tobacco, try it in a cob and see, see how you like it. Slim likes it, and, and by God, look what it's done for him. <laughs> Moving down, uh, uh, it's a shot of uh, uh, the air compressor. We went large on the air compressor because, hey, I'm a guy, what can I say? But actually, we're going to be putting a, a sandblaster uh, right here. It's, it's on order. It'll come in. The sandblaster will be used to... Uh, remove uh, stain from uh, pipes and re-rusticate, uh, or rather uh, re-blast and, and refinish the pipe to the client's uh, uh, specifications. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be fun to play with. Over here is our photography studio. Uh, one of our videos, one of my videos planned coming up is the, uh, will be what to look for in estate pipes when you're going out doing your own treasure hunting. And which is a blast because uh, you never know what you're going to find. But there are some things you want to look for to make sure you're not wasting a lot of money. And uh, uh, and once you get them, send them in to me, and you can really save a lot of money on when you find a decent pipe by doing that. Also, you can get our restoration or our uh, refurbs uh, that we find uh, while treasure hunting at our friends over at uh, Big Star Cigar in Mount Juliet. They can sign our pipes when we have them. So I'll, I'll find them, refurbish them, I'll get a good deal, fix them up, pass those savings on to you. So check their website out at uh, www.bigstarcigar.com. And for, um, for our uh, estate pipes that come up for sale. Over here, our shipping and receiving department. As you can see, it's got, I'm not shipping that uh, jewelry box. That's my wife's jewelry box. I just put some new uh, hardware on it for her while she's out of town. But it also doubles as our conference table. Another nice shot of my hand there. So, And uh, for all our high-level meetings we have here in Briarville, we, we had to have a conference table and... Uh, But up until, well, we use it for poker. So there you go.
<laughs> maybe an occasional brew, certainly a cigar. But that's a look at uh, Briarville, the uh, Restore and Restoration Division of Joe Case Pipes. We're located in the good part of town, east of Nashville. Joe, as you know, is west of Nashville. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you would. Uh, I've got a bunch of uh, uh, video plans coming up. Most of them are going to be how to and again how to save uh, your pipes, keep your pipes looking great um, so you can prolong their visit to my bench. So anyway, my name's Rick and thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you next time.